First, we have CBS saying, uh, editing out Bill Clinton's frequently has issues, talking about his wife, to rarely. And now we have this. I mean, Brent, at some point, you just really, these are news organizations. You're supposed to take them at face value, but it's difficult when they do this kind of stuff. They're 100% in the tank for Hillary Clinton. Uh, look how they attacked Donald Trump on the birther thing. Uh, it was the New York Times that brought up John McCain in 2008 and his birther situation. It was the media who brought up Ted Cruz. It was Sidney Blumenthal from the Hillary's Clinton that brought up Barack Obama. And yet they hit Ted Cruz. Uh, they hit Donald Trump on it relentlessly. Look, every reporter was there on that airplane. Every reporter, every network heard her call it a bombing and then one minute later take this gratuitous slap at Donald Trump and yet no one reported it. All right. Now, Brent, listen to this question. This is a reporter asking Hillary during her Q&A this morning in White Plains. Um, are you concerned that this weekend's attacks or potential incidents in the coming weeks uh, might be an attempt by ISIS or ISIS sympathizers or really any other group, maybe the Russians, um, to influence the presidential race in some way uh, and presumably try to drive uh, votes to Donald Trump? Did Hillary write that question? How can you bring the Russians into this? I mean, that's a stretch at best, and it plays right into Hillary's, you know, uh, narrative that uh, Donald Trump is a puppet of Putin. Right. So it's, I, I guess these terrorists have got these, you know, make America great again hats <laughs> that they're wearing while they do this. <laughs> it's just... It's just, it goes beyond the pale to suggest that this is a, you know, a Trump rally going on, except they blow up people now. Yeah. Now, all right, we haven't, we haven't finished yet because there's so much material. Uh, President Obama talking and about... It's, and it's only Monday morning. It's only Monday. Isn't it great? The gift that keeps on giving. Uh, President Obama talking about Fox News. He says, quote, structurally, we've become a very polarized society. And if all you're doing is watching Fox News and listening to Rush Limbaugh, then there's a lot of misinformation on a regular basis. Now, what's interesting to me about that is it's well established that I would say, and this is being kind, 95% of the media is liberal. They're giving Hillary a pass. And yet here we have a president saying half the country is being fooled by Fox News and Rush Limbaugh. A couple of points on this. Mm. This is the first president, I think, in history who has ever singled out one network for relentless attacks. I don't think anyone's ever done that before. Secondly, why does he attack Fox? Because Fox is the only network that doesn't march lockstep with this administration and the candidate they're, support they're, they're supporting. He cannot stand the fact that he cannot control the narrative at Fox News. Never, never mind Rush Limbaugh. It's a very, very good point, and I promise that we will not edit any of that to make it change its meaning. Brent Bozell, <laughs> I'm very sarcastic today. Thank you so much, Brent. Appreciate it.